and welcome to my tiny corner of the internet. Today, I'm going to be attempting to put tape in extensions in my hair that were $20 on Amazon. What could go wrong? haven't even opened these so I'm opening them live live unboxing now so unboxing these sketchy tape and extensions fingers crossed how does this work okay so looks like that Feel too bad. I'm not quite as scared now. Looks like the color matches pretty dang well. They might be a little bit darker, but it was this one or the medium brown, which looked way too light. So I think this will work pretty well. These were $20 each, like $22 or something like that. They are called the Yelite. This is in no way sent to me for free. I'm, I just wanted to try these out. I'll link it in the description, a link to these specific ones. They have a whole bunch of different colors, like black all the way to white blonde. The reviews were actually really good, which is why I went with these ones. There were like a lot of photos of people wearing them, before and afters, and a lot of people saying that the quality was really good and they lasted a long time. For being $20, like, I don't expect much. I mostly am just bored and want to try something, even if it only lasts for, like, a month. Like, it was $20, so it's fine. These ones are the 16-inch tape hair in the color number 2. So this is, like, the darkest brown right before it goes into the black shades. Thank you for your order. Yeah, no problem. In each pack, you get 20 little pieces. So there's 20 pieces, but you're supposed to take two of them and like squish them together with your hair in between. So really it's like 10 areas. It said like one pack for like minimum volume, like two to three packs for regular and then like four packs for thick. When you have like really short hair like this, you need pretty thick extensions to compensate, but I didn't wanna spend like 80 bucks on these before I actually felt them and like actually saw that they were good quality. So I only got two. I figure when I wear my other extensions, I only have like one row across the top one row on the bottom and then like little ones right here so i don't know we'll we'll see how it goes worst case scenario i can just put some along the top and then if i want to get another pack i'll fill in the bottom mostly i just wanted to try something new you know having short brown bobbed hair with no bangs is definitely the most boring hair i've ever had and I know that I did this to myself. I'm not complaining. This is what I had to do in order to grow out my natural color and allow my hair to actually start growing. It actually has grown a lot. When I cut it, it was about at my chin and it's almost hitting my shoulders. It's hitting my shoulders in the back and it's like kind of curling in right now, but it's like almost on my shoulders. So I don't hate it by any means. It's like kind of fun to do something different, but it definitely gets boring on a day-to-day -day basis. I have clip-in extensions that I got that are okay, but I wanted to try tape-in extensions. I don't think I've tried tape-in extensions. I have had basically every type of extension under the sun, every different brand, type, 
the ones where you have the bead, the eye tip that you like use a heat tool to attach, so many different clip-in extensions. I think I have tried tape and extensions, but it was just so long ago and I don't think I did it right. I've done glue and extensions. Oh my God, <laughs> what an actual nightmare those are. So I can pretty much already tell that this probably isn't gonna be enough for my whole head. Before I buy more, I wanna apply them and actually see if they're good. They feel good. They feel smooth and they don't feel like synthetic. So these are supposed to be human hair. Tape in 100% premium human hair is what it says. So that's so far so good. Color's good. Pretty impressed so far actually. So this is what we have to work with. I've got 40 pieces total. I should probably watch a video of like how to do this, but I think for the most part I get the idea. You just make a part in your hair. I think I'm gonna start at the top, work my way down. So I'm basically just gonna make a part where I want them to be and then I'm going to take a tiny little bit of hair probably not go all the way to the edge but I'll take a tiny bit of hair nice thin piece and I will attach the tape in tape side up here put the hair down and then tape side down attach the other one I think I'm just going to go for it like what could go wrong okay I need clips so I'm gonna take one piece and you can see that like one side doesn't have any stickiness to it and then the other side has a little flap that you pull off and it has sticky adhesive underneath let me get a tiny comb okay so I got one of these combs so that I can pick out the pieces. So I'm just going to kind of measure where it's going to go. Like I said, I don't want to put it too close to the edge because then it'll stick out. So I think I'm going to put this one here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of hair. Like that. And then somehow pull this flap off. This is not going to be easy with nails, is it? And then tape side up. We're just going to lay it. I'm not going to put it like... Like I could put it 100% all the way to my scalp, but I'm gonna put it down just a touch because I don't want it to stick out. So there's one piece and then I'm gonna take a second piece and I'm gonna put it as close to exactly on top as possible. together I have two pieces here pretty good and I just want to make sure that it's not getting caught on other hair so that there's some flexibility with being able to move it okay not bad I have one piece complete at this point i'm just gonna repeat it around until i have a complete layer at this height and then we'll kind of check in from there i think the key here 
is not to put too much hair in between the two pieces because then it will have like not enough stickiness to stick to it the other piece so just a really thin layer of hair for it to actually stick onto something but not too much that it's like not sticky so yeah wish me luck
Okay, so I just finished putting all of them in and unfortunately I think I need more. I did like two row, full rows of them all the way around and then I added like two on this side and two on this side and just like a couple up here and I haven't really put any in the bottom so yeah like the entire bottom half doesn't have any but for not having like cut or styled them at all I think they look pretty good like obviously I'm gonna have to layer them and then style them but for just being put straight in you can kind of see like where my hair has faded so I'm gonna have to re-dye the bottom parts of my hair that was a lot harder to do than I expected <laughs> I would say my biggest problem or tip I guess that I came across while doing that was when you're sectioning a piece of hair to put in between the pieces don't take a piece that's like the same width as the extension does that make sense like this is like the same width as the piece you want to make one that's like just the middle so like when you put them together the two edges can just stick to each other with no hair in between that was the move and also what that did was help immensely with being able to see where it was because another big problem was i would like have the piece ready and place the extension and then put the hair over it but then like once I put the hair over it, I couldn't see where it was anymore, like at all. And so I just kind of had to guess and slap it on and then feel if the edges were connected. And then I had to take a couple of them off and reapply them because they were so off. So only doing the middle makes it so you can see like the shiny edges on each side and then it's much easier to place. Other than that, it seemed pretty straightforward i am gonna order one more pack to put on the bottom but for now i'm just going to cut some layers into these um i'll probably take the length down to about 14 inches i just want like medium length hair so i am going to trim these down and then I'll style them and do my makeup and give my final thoughts.
Okay, so I'm finished cutting and styling the hair. I'm just doing the last bit of- Oh my god. Okay. My makeup. I just to put some lipstick on. I just spit everywhere. Cool. Okay. It's looking pretty good. So now, let's unclip this. I think they came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the result. I did take a little bit off, probably about an inch and a half. And I didn't cut too much, just a little bit. I just wanted to add some layers. You can see like there's some pieces. I basically just like grabbed pieces from the top and then where my hair ends, I would start cutting little layers around the whole top. But yeah, overall, for the price, so all together these were $44 total for both sets. I don't know how like many grams it is, it doesn't say that anywhere, but it feels like a good amount. Yeah, pretty, pretty happy with this result should we do some glamour shots price $44 for two sets I probably will end up getting a third set hey y'all future Phoenix here sorry I'm ugly again I just wanted to pop in for a second and update you because I did end up getting the third pack of extensions I put them in last night I filmed the original video like two days ago so I thought may as well just show you guys what this looks like it definitely looks a lot better i filled out most of the bottom with the additional 10 pieces here's a quick little 360. but yeah that was it just wanted to let you know and resume original video yeah they were tricky to put in but you figure it out you know the ones where you can see are easy it's just like where you can't see is pretty tough to line them up correctly so if you just had like one person help you with the back that would make it a lot easier I think they feel very secure you know when you have like clip-in extensions and you're trying to style them and they just kind of like pull away from your head and they don't obviously feel like they're your real hair because they're not but also they're just like kind of loosely clipped these like are in ow that hurts <laughs> but they're like not going anywhere and they feel like my real hair if I were to just pull it back I want to do a pony or like a bun completely invisible and it feels it doesn't feel like it's pulling so I'm a pretty big fan of this product and just probably tape in extensions in general um, obviously I can't speak to how well they hold up after being washed. They are supposed to stay in pretty well. Um, they will naturally slide down. Um, you can buy additional tape. So you like get a remover and remove them, take the tape off the extensions, put a new piece of tape in and you can reapply them. So put them back up. Who knows if we'll actually keep these around long enough to do that, but you never know. I'm pretty stoked on these. I'm excited to be able to just like fall asleep with these in and wake up looking the same. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this experience here. Pretty happy. Yeah, definitely would recommend if you just like want to try something, but clip-ins are kind of just like, 
and they don't really feel like a big change because they're just clipped in like this feels like i have brand new hair and like it's not going anywhere so it's like exciting yeah let me know if you have any questions i'm happy to answer them but hopefully i covered everything and that's it so thanks for stopping by and i will see you in the next one bye I can't speak. I haven't spoken words yet today. <coughs> Does that sound weird still? <coughs> also, sorry I look like boo-boo. I'm gonna do my makeup after this. I wanted it to like go from like, you know, gremlin to like less of a gremlin. Um, could you move your tail if you don't mind? Okay, well, whatever that was is gone forever now. Supposedly, they are supposed to... Supposedly, they're supposed...